What's going on everybody? Welcome to a new video, Madden Sunday School, the first episode of the Madden 19 season. Now, this was a series I started in Madden 18. I stuck with it for a little while and kind of tailored off whenever I started making more competitive breakdown videos, uh, but I really want to stick with it on Sundays this year. And this series really revolves around like the fundamentals, actual core football concepts that you can apply to Madden. Everybody's always focused on finding the next, the glitchiest route or the best A-gap blitz and stuff like that. But uh, this series is really going to go over actual football concepts that can really be applied and run, you know, when playing online in a franchise, wherever you're playing Madden at. And these will actually work in the game if you, you know, perform them correctly. So uh, this one's going to be on the smash passing concept. So right here, we're in the, we're in the Seahawks playbook, gun a slot offset. Uh, the play is literally called smash. Smash is a very common concept that you're going to see in a lot of different formations and playbooks throughout the game. And it's really all about those two routes on the left. So you have a hitch by Lockett and a corner out by Baldwin. And what you're trying to do is high-low whoever's playing the flat out there. And so what that means is you put him basically in a lose-lose situation where he has to pick which one he wants to guard and whichever one he doesn't guard, you throw it to the other one. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys against uh, Tampa 2 right here. We have a cover 3, we have man-to-man, -man, and we also have cover 4. So these are kind of the four basic coverages that you're going to see the most throughout the game. Uh, you see there, there are other, you know, exotic coverages like cover six, cover nine, stuff like that, weird blitzes. But these are, you know, the base coverages that you're going to see a lot of. So we're going to go ahead and start with Tampa 2. And so you really see it in action right here. Snap of the ball. You see that outside defender dropping back and you go ahead and hit Tyler Lockett underneath. And so I'll go ahead and show you guys that in instant replay just so you can see the concept in action and see how it's kind of developing now in Tampa 2, it just so happens that this cornerback is the guy in the flat. You know, if they're running cover 3, then it might be this guy might be shooting out to the flat. So don't just focus on one defender. You really have to pay attention to who is assigned out there in the flat. So right here, we have the hitch route by Lockett. Baldwin gets bumped. He's going to run his corner route. And we see this guy out here dropping all the way back to cover Baldwin. And we know that that's like an 8 or 9 yard cushion between him and Lockett. We can go ahead and throw this ball to Lockett. It's good with Lockett. You can get upfield a guy like him, make a guy miss, and you could be off to the races right here. We get tackled after about an eight or nine yard gain. But that's really the concept. It's not super flashy. It's not going to result in a ton of, you know, 80 yard touchdowns, but it's something that's very solid and you could definitely pull out multiple times throughout a game and take advantage of, you know, whoever your opponent has out there defending the flat. If they only have one guy out there, then he's going to have to make a decision. And if you read it correctly, you should hypothetically uh, get a nice gain. So right here, we'll go against Tampa 2 again, and we'll go ahead and show you. So this time I'm going to go hard flats. So that outside cornerback should play Lockett, and we should be able to hit Baldwin behind him. So snap the ball here. We see him sitting on Lockett, sitting on Lockett, and that's where the corner route comes in behind him, opens up. So against cover 2, really you're, you're reading that outside cornerback. Now against cover 3 here, we'll go ahead and see that now that outside cornerback's dropping back deep and now pool is dropping out into the flat so that's why i said you can't just focus on one defender it all depends on what kind of defense your opponent's running so in this case we're going to go same concept here snap the ball snap the ball we see that defender dropping super far back go ahead hit lock it turn up field and get 10 yards so it's going to be a very similar experience against something like cover three as it was with cover two if they have a lot of cover threes we'll have curl flats as kind of the default um, defense out or the, the default flat zone out there um, if they go you know shade underneath and have hard flats then it's going to be similar to cover two where you're going to want to hit Baldwin on the corner out so sim similar reads and progressions cover two to cover three now man to man is where it can get kind of awkward a little bit you really have to rely on your corner routes to create some separation so in this case we have Baldwin on the outside and Dixon on the back side and so I'll go ahead and show you guys against man to man here those corner routes right there, Baldwin does a pretty good job. He has Poole guarding him, who's not a great corner, and Baldwin's a pretty good route runner, so he's able to get some separation there. Uh, but a lot of times, those inside or those corner routes this year uh, won't get a ton of separation against man coverage. So you kind of have to be careful of just you know blindly throwing them on the break right there. Baldwin's just kind of outclassing his his opponent, even though he ended up dropping that right there. I could have easily possession cap caught it. Um, but against man-to-man, -man, just kind of be wary of, you know, it's corner routes are no longer an automatic, 
you know, a sure thing against man-to-man -man coverage like they've been in the past. You really have to pay attention. If they have a solid defender out there, like right here on the right side, we have Alfred out there on Dixon and Robert, or not Alfred, uh, Desmond Trufant out there on Dixon. And you saw Trufant was all over him. He had the outside positioning. I was lucky that wasn't picked off. So just be careful against man-to-man -man coverage. And the final coverage I'll go ahead and show you guys against is going to be cover four. I keep changing the offensive play, uh, but right here, cover four. So once again, you have this guy pool out in the flat, the quarter flat and the outside cornerback, Robert Alford is actually dropping back deep. And so cover four is kind of this concept's kryptonite and you'll see why snap the ball. You see that both guys were covered adequately and you're going to see even though Vic Beasley got to me in instant replay you'll see exactly what happened because it's kind of hard to see what happens real time uh, but it looks just like any other coverage you know the inside defender presses and pushes Baldwin to the outside but they identify the route concept and this kind of new this year with the matching uh, defense where they they kind of see the routes developing and, and will adjust on the fly so pool sees okay Lockett's the only guy here. I'm going to match to Lockett and just sit with him. And then the outside defender, notice how he's not dropping and just running straight back. He's actually looking and saying, okay, he's running a corner route. So I don't have to, in years past, Alford would drop back like way back here. And you'd be able to throw this corner out on the sideline. But now he's sinking with him and saying nothing else is pulling me deep. So I don't have to just run deep and cover nothing. I can just sit underneath and guard this corner out. And so, uh, I mean, that's a tough throw to make. I can go ahead and show you guys. You're not really going to feel comfortable throwing that corner out against cover four a lot of the times. Um, it's just they play it a lot better and they pay attention to it this year. So right there, once again, and you can see that's a super tough throw. Alford, probably lucky I, he didn't jump it and pick it off. So uh, cover four is going to be the defense that gives you the most trouble against this route concept. And you'll notice the same thing on the backside uh, right there. I snapped it against cover two. Uh, but you'll notice the same thing against the cover four setup with the running back out the backfield and then also Ed Dixon running the corner out is you'll see that they go ahead and match. So you see right there, match, match, and he's all over the corner out. Dixon made a super tough catch in coverage, but you don't feel comfortable throwing that to Ed Dixon with Desmond Trufant draped all over him. So cover four is really the kryptonite. If you notice your opponent running a lot of cover four, you probably want to steer clear of smash. But it's really, really good against coverages like cover two and cover three, which are very, very popular online. So you could really have a lot of success with this passing concept against other players online, whether it's mutt, you know, draft champs, head to head, regular teams, whatever it might be. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, this first episode of Madden Sunday School for Madden 19. Until next time, take it easy.